Guys, good morning believers. Good morning every single person out there that is stopping by to check out the channel. I'm Irish Guy JG Jesse. In case you didn't know, I'm in the house, I'm in the truck. Um, we got a little bit of a weather system moving in this morning, so I thought what a bit what a what better of an opportunity to to sit and commune with you guys and fellowship with you guys for a minute. Um, I want to read from the 24 hour a day book. I am, I'm going to skip the thought for today, but I will read the meditation for today and the prayer for today. So listen up, guys. Cling to the belief that all things are possible with God. And this belief is truly accepted. It is a ladder upon which human souls can climb from the lowest pit of despair to the sublimest heights of peace of mind. It is possible for God to change your way of living. When you see the change in another person through grace of God, you, can, you cannot doubt that all things are possible in the lives of people through the strength and strength that comes from faith in him who rules all the prayer for today i pray that i may be i pray that i may live expectantly i pray that i may believe deeply that all things are possible with god having said that oh my gosh that's a good one I pray that I may live expectantly. I pray that I may believe deeply that all things are possible with God. So when we live expectantly, we're we're honestly expecting God to 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 bless us, to to um to test us, to to see where we're at. And when we're when we when we read that, I really it pops off the page because I pray that I may believe deeply that all things are possible with God because all things are possible with God. And when you see it in other people, it gives us inspiration to think that we can do it too. And you can do it. You can do it. Do not let anybody tell you that you cannot have faith in God and that you cannot believe in Jesus Christ and that you can't pray and you can't meditate and all this other stuff. People have all these kinds of weird ways of trying to get get their opinions and views into your head, but don't let them because God is the only one that we should be expecting answers from. You know, solid answers. Yes, we're going to get help. And yes, we're going to allow the, the fellowship and the brothership and the sisterhood to, to help us. To give us pointers. To make videos. To show you what, what's inspiring them. And to encourage you. But we should really be expecting this. Expectant from God. And, from, and, and to be provided from God. Because man can only provide so much. He cannot provide everything. And I'm, I, I am, I'm a little shocked this morning. I, I went into my local gas station and I'm ki I'm not even kidding you guys. I wasn't going to get out my phone and record because there was other people there and I just thought that that would be kind of goofy. But the store shelves, you guys, the drink section was all empty. I mean, they had all the coffees were gone. They had they had all kinds of Red Bulls and all kinds of junk like that. But they But there were certain areas of water, coffee, and that sort of stuff, milk. They're, all this stuff is gone. The, the shelves are bare. What is going on? I'm in Nor I'm in middle. I'm in Twin Cities, Minnesota. So if it's affecting us here in Minnesota, it's got to be affecting you otherwhere. So if you if you guys have seen or noticed anything, chime in because I'm really I'm really curious to find out what is what's going on in other people's areas too. And some of you guys might even be in Minnesota and might even notice this, but the holiday gas stations, they they have been um, dwindling. And so, you know, no, it seems like the fresh produce is dwindling, uh, you know, and then there's certain things that aren't coming uh, back to the shelves like I thought they would. So, and you talk to the people at the gas station and they have no clue what's going on. They, they honestly just ring you up and stock the shelves with the product that come in. They don't know the politics of it and they don't really care because they're all younger people and they all, it's not that they don't care, but they, they just don't see... You know, they don't see things changing the way some of us older people do that have been around for a little while. The younger kids think, it's well, it's just the times, you know. But, well, they're in for a rude awakening because I think the return of Jesus is, is coming. The, the, the weather cataclysms, the weather phenomena, the, the way people are acting, this was all foretold in the Bible. And if you're paying any kind of attention, you guys, you guys can see the signs, right? You guys can see the signs. But we're also seeing wonders. We're also see people, we're seeing people step up. We're seeing people make videos. We're seeing people have the, the courage and the strength to speak their mind about what they think is the solution. And the solution is God. The solution is God. We need to turn to God now and turn to Jesus now. And if you haven't done that, try it. Do it. 
earnestly seek a relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I'm telling you your lives will be changed my life has been changed I have struggles we all have struggles I am I've had so many struggles in my life when they come now I kind of just be like hmm meh another struggle but you know what we have I go meh another struggle because really God has my back and I think if another struggle comes my way it's just another opportunity to learn a lesson to find the value in these experiences that we can attribute to God giving us lessons, right? So when we get these lessons, put them in your piggy bank, save them for later, be like, oh, oh yeah, that I did that once before and that didn't work out so well, so I'm gonna try it a different way. And then this new way that you try works out, you know it's from God because you've been asking God, hey, show me the way, show me my path, show me what I'm doing wrong, and I wanna correct it, I wanna rectify it, Father. I want to, what can I do for you today, Father? That is my saying. I love it, and that's what I say in the morning. I, I, I sometimes don't say it the second I wake up, but once I start realizing what's going on and where I'm at and I'm getting going and the juices are flowing and I've had a cup of coffee, then I start to think, oh my gosh, yep, it's time to pray. It's time to do this. It's time to do that. So it's, it's, it's early in the morning that I'm doing this, you guys, but it has changed my way of living when I can wake up and... and and whether it's when I'm brushing my teeth or whether it's when I'm taking a shower or whether it's, you know, it's, it's before I eat breakfast or whatever, it's in that, it's in that first few, it's in that first half an hour, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, in that first time frame when you wake up that you start to realize, okay, it's another day, the sun came up, the world didn't end. <laughs> What can I do for you today, Father? What's in the plans for today? And today we got a little bit of a rain delay, so I just wanted to read a little bit of this from you guys and give you guys a little bit of my insights on that. But um, cling to the belief that all things are possible with God. If this belief is truly accepted, it is the ladder upon which a human soul can climb from the lowest pit of despair to the sublimest heights of peace of mind. Now I can tell you, and I can attest, having lived in um, drug addiction, having lived in alcoholism, Excuse me. Having lived in some of these sorts of ways of living, I can tell you guys when you turn away from that and you accept God and Jesus Christ into your heart, your life changes. It ends up being something worth living. It ends up being something that you want to invest, you know, and learn and invest in. Your life becomes valuable. Your life has always been valuable. It has been valuable to God. And that's why God gave you that life. So if you're not paying God back for this wonderful life that you've given and maybe pay back is the wrong word but if you're not seeking that relationship and trying to build 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 something with him then he's sad and he's and he and he and he feels like you know this person could really be a great person and this person could really change from their sinful ways but they just decide to live in ignorance and not and not see that we have a gracious and and and, and most wonderful God but you have to recognize that and you have to accept Jesus into your heart because there was a plan. God sent his son down here to die for our sins, to show us what it was, what, what's possible. He came down and showed us how to live our lives. And if you dig into God's word, I know there's a lot of contingencies, you guys, and I know there's a lot of strings that you think might be attached to this relationship with Christ but I'm telling you if it's reading God's Word it's praying and then it's going out and doing good things how bad can it be right and if, if you're not used to being nice or you're not mis nice to doing good things just let your relationship grow with God first before you go out and start giving away Bibles or before you start going out and praying for people like the manas or giving giving people the homeless food you don't have to jump right into it guys I'm, I'm begging you just to try try it for a couple of days try praying and see what comes of it because oftentimes if you ask oh god i just really need money I, i'm just struggling financially right now not a pot of gold is gonna fall into your hands this isn't magic this isn't sorcery this isn't all the other stuff that the other people that are following the devil and the enemy believe in this is faith it's faith through works it's it's having faith that if we do our part god will do his part if we do our work on the on the ground, boots on the ground here, and we're spreading good works and we're speaking good things and we're living right, we're not being hypocrites, he'll bless you. So you might get a check in the mail in a couple days. You might get a check in the mail that same day. I don't know. S weird things happen, but they're not weird because they happen, they happen through the Holy Spirit, that relationship with God. I cannot count 
uh, I cannot tell you how many times in the last year where me and my wife prayed saying, hey, holy cow, financially, Lord, we're just really struggling. And the answer didn't come for a few days, but then boom, all of a sudden, out of the blue, we got some sort of check in the mail saying that we were owed a refund on, on a renter's rebate from years ago, you know? And it's just, you know, that came from the IRS. So out of all the places that blessed us with the money that we needed at that time that we had no idea even was out there, it was the IRS. And it was, so I'm telling you, it just, and that's just one case of what's happened in the, in the last five years um, with what we've been blessed with. Now, I could tell you more specific cases, but I would have to get into details and names and stuff like this. But I'm telling you, if you're living right and you're living by God's word and you're praying and, and staying in conscious contact with God, which, which conscious contact means that he's always there with you. There's always, he's always there with you unless you or I shut him out. If we do not shut him out and we let we open that door and we, and we put the door stop on and we leave it open for him to just teach us teach us teach us fill us fill us fill our cup fill our heart fill our hearts fill our minds fill our tongues right he will come through for you admit that you're a sinner accept jesus into your heart and get out on the streets and get out and do what you can to be that person like Christ. And But you have to learn how to be Christ-like through the Bible, through the good word, through through spiritual literature that is approved, you know. I love you guys. I want the best for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to be working today, so I might be making another video later. But I, I, I think I'm going to take this time. Um, the kids are off doing their thing and the wife is off doing her thing and it's just a me and my own thoughts and my own meditation and my own um, contact with God today so I think I'm going to take a day and just really dig deep into into what I think I can do for God and what's going on and set a few things up and that's the blessing of working construction every once in a while we'll get a rain day very few very very few this summer has been really hot and sunny so but with the rain coming down it is, it gives me an opportunity to stick home, to get into the study and, 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 and dig into God's Word. And I got a new book. Uh, I got a new book. It's the the Life of Life of Jesus of Nazareth. I don't remember who the author is, but I just got it in the mail yesterday. It's the Life of Jesus of Nazareth. And I've kind of flipped through it and I really like it. It's, it's doing some deep dives into um, um, some of the things that have happened in Jesus' life. And, and, and it's just going to give me some inspiration to learn more about our, our Lord and Savior. Um, but then again, obviously, I'm going to dig into the Word and see what I can find in there for some nuggets of truth. Because I know that when, we're, when we, we, we have that belief that all things are possible through God, what, how can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? Let's pray. God... I lift up those people, Father, that we lifted up yesterday, Father. I lift up these people that are struggling, Father. We lift up anybody who has a requested prayer. We lift up people that aren't, aren't even requesting prayer. There's a lot of people hurting out there, Father. There's a lot of people that are homeless. There's a lot of people that can't find jobs. There's a lot of people that are, are hurt and can't work. There's a lot of people out there struggling with, with whether to choose you, Father, or the enemy, Father. I just ask you to plant a seed in their mind and, 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 and let me work through and do your will, Father. If there's something that I'm doing that, that I can do better, Father, show me, Father. And if there's something that I can do better on the channel to help other believers find you and seek you better, Father, show me your will, Father. I will do your will, Father. And I pray for all those people out there struggling. On a dreary, rainy day today, Father, it's easy to get the spirits down, but keep us up. Keep our spirits up, Father. We believe in you, and we believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, and we believe that he is our Savior. And we know that the days are numbered, Father, but only you, Lord, know the date and hour of your return. But, but Father, we're, we're, we're begging you and we're asking you, Father, with earnest, with earnesty, please return. The world is getting so crazy, and, and we just want to keep our believers safe, Father. Put a hedge of protection around all those who truly seek you, Father, and, and protect those who are, who are lost, Father, for they don't know you yet. But their name could be written in the book of life, Father. They just don't know it yet. So... I ask you, Father, to bless, bless our world, bless our planet, bless this country, bless the, bless its people, bless those who are really trying to make a difference. Give them a win today, Father. Give somebody a win today, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
I know, a little out of the ordinary prayer, but whatever, I'm feeling it. So I just wanted to, I want to pray for people who are struggling because I see people out there in our everyday life and I see people at the gas station and I can just tell that they're, they're not hopeful. They're, they're sad. Um, they're confused, you know, and I just want to reach out and hug people. I just want to reach out and give them give them a, a hug and say, Hey, do you have any idea the love and compassion that you could have through Jesus Christ? And I tell you guys, um, I do do that once in a while if I feel the Holy Spirit is compelling me to talk to somebody. But recently I've been getting very sheepish because I had a little bit of an interaction with somebody that wasn't so friendly. So, But I need to do what the manas do and follow the Holy Spirit, what Matt from the manas does, follow the Holy Spirit and go up to these people no matter what I feel. It's not about me and where my feelings, it's about what God's putting on my heart and, and telling me to do. If you follow that, if you follow that feeling, you guys, and, and, and you're expecting of that, of that answer and that leadership and that guidance, I'm telling you, man, things are going to change. I feel a little guilty that I didn't get to talk to this person that I wanted to talk to, and I should have. But that's what's happened. So if we don't follow our, if we don't follow our, the Holy Spirit, and we don't follow our instincts on what we should do. Sometimes you end up regretting it. Regret's not a good thing, and I don't have a lot of regrets. But yeah, obviously I have regrets. But what I do regret is not talking to that person at the gas station. And this was weeks ago, you guys. This was two weeks ago. And I, I knew I should have given that person a Bible. I just, I knew I should have given that person a Bible, but I just didn't know what he was going to do with it. And that's, that was my own selfish thinking, not knowing what they were going to do with it. I should have just given it to him. That was what the Holy Spirit told me. And so I hope that the, the Holy Spirit and God and, and, and our Lord and Savior provides me with more opportunities to try and help other people because if I could, if I could give an ounce of what I feel for our Holy our holy God and our Father in heaven. If I could just give an ounce of that to somebody, they they could be inspired and they could accept Jesus Christ into their life too. So I know I'm rambling on a little bit and it's about 17 minutes, but I just I love you guys. I want you guys to have a good day. Um, be expectant from God, especially if you're calling for it and if you're asking for it. Be expectant because He will provide.